drought has affected us in the sense that, you know, hay crops are not going as well. Uh, you can see that the, the corn is starting to curl the leaves, so that means there are end of water stress. And if the drought continues, we'll definitely have a severe impact. So the winter was pretty dry, so you come in with not that much water and really keeping an eye on things. And usually in spring, we get a couple deluges and then, you know, you start getting worried about weeds and they just never really came. And then the temps were really high too. So we saw it pretty quickly that it was going to be different. We just didn't know if it was just setting up for when it was going to rain a ton. More of it will be felt later because right now you're, the feed that the animals are using is last year's crops, such as the corn, because the corn is only knee high, it isn't harvested yet. Uh, time will tell the effect of the drought come midsummer to fall. If we don't get rain by, you know, so a good amount of rain, we're right now I think we're seven inches behind. If we don't make some of that up by mid-July, we're going to have to, you know, cut our losses and just concentrate on on the ones that are closest to the water that we can irrigate. We need a mix. We need a few days of rain. We need a, several days of good growing conditions, and then we need a few days of rain again so that the crops can keep growing. I mean, every day for me is just my stress level is... Something I usually that isn't there is there this year. I'm like, when is this going to go away? When is this going to go away? And maybe if we get a rainfall. I mean, you have to be prepared for everything. You have to know that it's possible that you're going to get six inches of rain in one downpour, or it's possible that you're not going to have any rain at all. Fingers crossed for rain.